And uh, who you are, please? So my name is Julien Ezano. I work for the Centre National du Cinéma et de l'Image Animée. Uh, it's a public institution, a public body, um, that um, within the Ministry of Culture. And uh, our purpose, our job, is to um, support, encourage the film industry, the audiovisual industry in general, uh, with a system of grants and loans uh, that we that we give to industry people, producers, distributors, authors, to try to encourage creation, distribution in France. So one hard question I'm going to ask you is, uh, if a good number of my students might be wondering, and other people outside, how CNC, Centre National de Cinematography, attribute their visa to, um, to films? There are temporary visas and there are permanent visas. For foreign films, how does it work? When you want to release a film in a theater in France, in a, in a movie hall, uh, you are supposed to apply for a visa, for classification, because uh, we want to be sure that no film can be harmful for underage children. So we have a system of classification. Most films have a visa for all audience in France. But some films, because they are a little violent, or because there is some uh, sexuality that's shown on the screen, have a specific rating, and some are forbidden for kids under 12, some are forbidden for kids under 16, and some of them are even forbidden for kids under 18 years of age. So you have to, the distributor has to show us the film beforehand, we watch it, and there is a committee deciding where, for what kind of audience it's, it's, it's for. Yes. And, then, and then how long does it take to, have to, to get this visa? Does it take uh, six months, one year, or a short It's time? a few weeks. A few, a few weeks, weeks, right. Yes. So if someone pro uh, produces a movie in France, uh, have to go through your website and submit everything to you, and then get the visa under uh, two or three weeks. Is that correct? Yeah, I cannot give you the exact time, uh, time yeah. but there, there are specific rules telling you when you have to apply, okay. and it's a quite, it's a quite fast uh, process. That, that's for the general commercial distribution, okay. and then you have specific visas for festivals. That's quicker. Okay, and then there is something called also private screen. What does it mean? Private screening. That's private screening is yeah. organized by, uh, uh, let's say, a distributor uh, or a sales agent to show to specific targets, specific industry people, a film, generally to sell. So it's organized on a private basis and you don't need a visa to do that. So just to finish this interview, I wouldn't like to take much of your time. Now, we've talked about the hurdles, the administrative obstacles and so on. So what advice do you give to students, young people, who aim to be filmmakers in the future? Uh, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a wonderful, it can be a wonderful life. It's not an easy life to be a filmmaker. But also it, it can be very fulfilling. So I would encourage young people who want to become filmmakers to, to, to do that, of course. It's better to, to see such a career uh, uh, um, as a professional uh, career and then to get trained beforehand. So the best way to reach that world of film creation is, is to uh, be trained in a school, to, to get into a school. There is a very good school in France called La Fenice, but there are other schools where you can get a professional training, I think is the, is the, is the basis uh, to, to, to get in that industry. And of course, the, also another strong basis is to have a personal film culture. So you, you should see a lot of films to know the, the history of film and to be able to have a knowledge and position your aesthetics, develop a, a personal aesthetics, but on the basis of the history of him, I think. Thank you very much for giving me your time. I know you're a very busy man. Thanks. Thanks.